Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of TerraTech. And on tonight's episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now, for those of you who have missed the last couple episodes, what we ended up actually doing was coming out here and going through and trying to finish up some of the quests. Now, what we were really trying to do is get to GSO Grade 4, because that is when the new Hawkeye Corporation opens up. And I am really really looking forward to getting my hands on that one i know a lot of you feel the exact same way in fact let me uh take this down uh most of that stuff will get sucked up into that little uh little thing over here on the side because we really don't need these things uh, getting back in here most of these can be converted over actually let's go ahead and undo that that way we can get all those uh, those shields back on there i was trying to get rid of the weapons but that's not working let's go ahead and put this back on nope nope that is no you're recycling it you pizza Oh, and it disappears. It did. Oh, I hate your guts. I hate your gut. Oh, man. That is ridiculous how fast those things are. Let's see. Do I have a... Uh, why isn't it changing here? Is it broken? I mean, what's going on here? Hmm. That will not... Yeah, it wouldn't let me actually change it to anything. So we're, we're going to move that there and make sure it's not broken. I couldn't change the tabs. But yeah, we're trying to go for GSO Grade 4. Sorry for the weird uh, kind of start here. I was trying to fix some stuff. And it just, no, it, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it, it backfires on you. And it just, uh, yeah, it's kind of trolling me a little bit. So let's come in here. Hopefully we have another one. GSO Large Receiver. All right, we do got another one. Let's, uh, okay, you're going to glitch out on me. You don't want to go there. No, you definitely don't want to go there. So we'll attach you right there, and then I'll drag you down there. There we go. Okay, so that should work. I don't know what's going on with that side, but we're leaving it alone. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna test fate on that one. Uh, we have been charging up our batteries, and our batteries are fully charged. So we are going to have to put this sucker back down. I mean, that's really the only way. Now I'm gonna put it over here because all these things are gonna fall down and kind of roll down the hill as uh, as i take them off so that's that's where they're gonna end up anyways hopefully that's gonna be close enough i don't have to move that again but you can see our base bot here is pretty big in fact he's a little bit too big and a little bit too much of a behemoth to get around as much as i would like him to be able to do so so i would not doubt it at some point in the future we make another bot whether it's going to follow us around or not we do have some ai modules over here on the side in fact we got three different kinds uh, well, we had three of them, maybe not uh, three different kinds, but we have a guard AI module, and we also have the other one, which is a seeker AI module. So the guard would be kind of, I think, the uh, the appropriate one to have that follows us around. If we wanted something a little bit more uh, aggressive, maybe the multi-seeker uh, AI module might be the one we go with. I'm not really sure if it works that way or not, but it's worth a shot to give it a try and see if uh, maybe we can get it to do that. Come on, start picking that stuff up. You got enough of it. You can do it. Oh, no, not both of those. You kind of have to move it up in the air for it to not automatically attach to the ground. The anchor blocks, they're a little bit weird like that. They, they definitely want to be on the ground. And that's just not going to pick up anything, is it? There we go. Wow, that took a long time. It still hasn't picked anything up. Wow. There's a delay on that sucker, a little bit more than what I remember. Now, as the game has changed over time, a lot of these things have been, uh, you know, tweaked here and there, and it's very hard to say whether it's kind of not, bro it's like broken right now, or if they're going to be going down that path uh, in the future, or what the case is. And we just kind of have to play it by ear. Now, we are powered up fully, and they're probably going to drop a ambush on us right over here if you guys ever see a question mark and you're like there's nothing there uh walk right up on top of it or drive right up on top of it actually and they should spawn three bots that will immediately surround you pretty much on all sides i mean you know three bots can't do the whole four sides thing but uh it's they're pretty close it's a triangle shape that they usually go with there's one there's two there's the third one. Yeah, I was just a little bit too big. It didn't have any room to fall, and I guess it didn't want to fall directly on me and damage me. So, yeah, dead in one shot. <laughs> I love it. I love my big Megaton cannons. How do you like that, man? Ultimate stairway. Yeah, I can't, uh, can't survive it, dude. You just don't have it. <laughs> it's the little dudes that seem to survive the longest. They actually... Um, I think what it is is it's so concentrated with the megaton cannons they're actually competing for the one or two spaces that is available and they don't all make it so when that happens 
you end up uh, losing a lot of that momentum that would normally get absorbed over the course of like 10, 15, 20 blocks on a big guy. And I'm teeter-tottering right on the edge. There we go. Come on. You know you can do it. Come on, come on, Cletus. Go, go, go. Nope, it just doesn't want to do it. So let's go into build mode. We'll do our thrusters. Maybe if it uh, can get some traction up there on the first. Oh my, this is what I was talking about. We are a little bit too big for our own good. And we can't even back it up, can we? There we go. We're, we can back it up a little bit. So if we can't go forward, we'll go back. We'll go around this giant uh, Mount Everest of a hill. Uh, all, you know, four feet of it. And <laughs> we'll go uh, We'll go a different direction. We'll go down because, you know, that's always easy, right? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe my wills are just like they, they don't want to work today. So like half of them do and the other ones are just like we can't touch the ground, boss. We just uh, we can't we can't see it. What on earth? Come on, dude. You got like 800 wheels on that bot and you still can't touch anything. Look at that. Look how many wheels are down there. And they should all get traction. As long as the ground is level, they should all be, you know, turning their wheels. But nah, it doesn't seem like they do. And man, this this is pretty flat out here. So the fact that we can't go over this is pretty aggravating. Now, I did get a lot of comments on the um, the helicopter that we built for the Hawkeye in the R&D department. That is something I was kind of worried about because I wasn't sure if I would have the ability to build that on the scale that I think needs to be done. But I think we did fairly well, and the suggestions you guys left were amazing. I cannot wait to go back in there and try some of these out because I think that's going to make all the difference. All we needed, I think I... <laughs> <laughs> I love watching those things explode. I'm never going to get tired of it. I'll be, I'll be watching that for months to come, if not years, and just kind of giggling to myself every time the blocks go flying off. I would love to see more, you know, like smoke from it, more uh, like the gases that escape when they have fuel tanks and when they have um, batteries and things of that sort. It adds a unique kind of thing to, oh, you know what would be really sweet? Uh, obviously, I've been, you know, asking for for almost a you know a while now for uh, fireworks of different colors. I never really thought of what happens when you destroy the fireworks on an enemy bot. I think there probably should be some kind of explosion because it's it's a firework launcher, right? There should have at least a little bit of fireworks inside when it goes off. And if you could have multiple colors, can you imagine just the the rainbowish, you know, smoke cloud coming off of a bot that has, you know. 10 or 15 or even more colors you know in their uh, their fireworks thing i think that would be absolutely amazing would it bog the computer down yeah probably i mean it probably would be you know kind of heavy on the graphics but it'd be something i'm willing to kind of uh, you know put up with for me as i play these games the bigger i get the more you know these things uh eat up the graphics and wow look at that guy he's he's kind of wrecking me he got he got in behind me because I just couldn't go past that palm tree for some reason. That palm tree was just the uh, <laughs> the bane of my existence. And uh, now I, I am going to have to fight him with the, the limited weapons I have in the back. Now, they're not completely exposed back there. I do have some Megaton cannons. I do have some Venture Hailfire rifles. And I have some Uzis back there as well. But is it enough? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, we do have a lot of shields and repair bubbles back there, too. I would rather get this gun right here in the front and hit him with one shot of Megaton Cannons and completely and totally annihilate this guy. I think we're going to do it here in a second. If we can get that first shot, actually hit him. <laughs> yeah, baby. Nothing left. That's right. What? He did take three? Almost four? Let's see. Five shots? Wow. Five shots with the Megaton Cannons. That is nuts. That guy actually had some firepower on him, or some strength, I should say. Not firepower, but... Ooh, we haven't gotten this piece yet. I'm going to go ahead and snag that. Not really something I like. It does sit way too low to the ground. It does make things look really cool, though. So I am going to turn this sucker around. I don't know why <laughs> the quest is always in the exact opposite direction I initially turn. Sometimes it's, you know, right in front of me, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to turn around, go past this tree. And by the time I notice the direction I should be going, I'm like, well, I was, I was already facing that way, and now I have to do a 360. So maybe it's just I like to show you guys the entire bot. You know, you guys get to see a beautiful panoramic view of every little inch of this guy. And I will upload him to... Um, 
Twitter one day and see if any of you guys want to play around with them. Maybe you can come up with a better design. Maybe you can, uh, you know, change them into something kind of cool. Or maybe you'll just experience the utter joy when he gets stuck on nothing. <laughs> and see uh, see how well you like it. See how well it maneuvers. Because for me, you know, he, he maneuvers well enough. But I, I've definitely had bots in the past. And every single one that I build tends to maneuver differently. It's kind of crazy because they all have a somewhat of the same theme you know like i like to put wheels in a certain way because it seems to work fairly well for me but even with that said i mean they all take on a life of their own and that what's you know it's one of the special things about this game that it's not just a cookie cutter cutout of every other design that somebody else has come with all you got to do is change one thing and sometimes it's not even about wheel placement it's about how much weight you've put on top uh whether you put you know aerodynamic things if you have boosters you know, like so many things can go into that factor of whether that bot, oh, <laughs> yes, uh, but yeah, whether that bot is actually going to work fairly well or not, and man, it's it's really complicated sometimes to see if you can get it down. Now, we are going to stick this sucker over here, uh, maybe, right there. We'll uh, drag these over here. I'll have to drag them pretty far, get them away from this thing. We did get some boosters. Some boosters over here and another fuel tank. So let me go ahead and snag that. We'll put it up here. And there's a fuel tank right there. So let me snag that one. Uh, we'll put it right there in front. And there is another bot right there in front of us. I think that's like a base bot, right? Pond bot, huh? Well, let's pick this sucker up. We'll get a little closer. And we'll take a look at him. What does he have on him? Is there anything worth saving on that guy? Or should we just destroy him? Doesn't look like there's anything really worth saving. There's a few items there I would kind of like to have. Get up. No, no, get down, man. <laughs> this guy did not. Oh, uh, look at all the green explosions. Base Guardian's down. Okay, so all this is mine now. So I don't actually have to uh, destroy it. I can just put this sucker down over here. Grab all these stud lasers. I do like having a lot of these stud lasers on the front. Ooh, and we got, yes, we got some of those turn boosters right there. Nope, that's just a booster period. I thought that was going to be one of those special ones. Let's go ahead and take this off. All of this stuff will get picked up. Now, remember, the cabs, for whatever reason, do not like being picked up uh, man or automatically. You have to do that manually yourself. Drag it right on top of that little thing and put it inside the storage for you. Do you really need to do that? Well, no, you don't. I mean, you can always buy a cab if you want to. But if they're going to give you one, it's just not very common because normally you have to destroy the cab to take over whatever it is oh man we gotta go up that hill oh geez i don't know if we can but we'll try we'll try guys you, you guys know how hard this was last time we had to go up there and get somebody and it was a little tiny itty bitty dude in the inside didn't even need to take my full force in there but we did and yeah we annihilated him man i love it oh yes you know what there is a vent right here and we are gonna try if we can get up there close enough to it and destroy it with our weapons. You can't destroy it with a melee weapon. You gotta destroy it with your weapons. I am going to try to put down that newfangled item that they got, the thermal generator. So let's go ahead and start attacking. Uh, we also need to destroy rocks anyways, so come on, boosters, boosters, boosters. I think this looks like the exact same mountain I came up earlier. This could be uh, the same one or it could just be one that looks like it, but I'm thinking this is the same one. So it does like putting a guardian, or maybe not a guardian, but it does like putting a guy in here that's for your quest. And that's, I have never really paid attention to it that closely to see if maybe there are certain spots that seem to have quest mobs spawn there more often or invaders spawn there more often. But I wouldn't put it past them to do something like that. I thought it was completely random, but maybe not so much. Or it could just be that I'm hanging out in this area a little bit more than normal, and so therefore things are spawning Oh, this is going to go bad really fast. I am going to slide down this entire mount. No, boosters. Boosters, yes. Oh, no, we're not going to get up that hill. Are we? Can we turn? You can do it. I have faith. Do it. Can you imagine driving this sucker and feeling it slide down a hill on you and just the impending doom of what would happen if it tips over? Like, this is a lot of weight. Not only is it a lot of weight, there's a lot of explosive pieces on this bot that can blow up very easy, especially with all these fuel tanks I keep putting on there. Oh, wow, there's like three of them over there, and it looks like they're Venture, too. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get those guys. If we get over this hill and land directly on that rock, 
which is going to make it right underneath all of our pieces. Of course it is. Like, why wouldn't? That would be, you know, that would be too easy if it gave us a pass over this thing. <laughs> this lag central. I can't even move very well when I go into... I hate going into build mode. I hate going into build mode. There we go. Come on, back it up. That's right. Are you, are you even hitting that rock? I don't even know if you're hitting that rock. I don't think you are. Let's, uh, let's back it up a little bit. Come on. You know you want to. Or, or move in any direction. Well, not forward. I did say any direction. I did I did kind of leave myself open to that. Okay. Let's put that there. Not, not quite what I was expecting to happen. How about right there? Back it up. I'm like destroying people right now. There's a, a block over here that shouldn't be here. Um, we're gonna have to go into build mode for that to work. I'm sorry guys, I do apologize for the massive lag when I do this. Come on, you know you want to destroy that rock. Or not. I think it's, uh, the or not one is gonna win. So let's go ahead and put our little dude down. I am gonna get rid of those things on the front. They, they don't work. They are just, um, they look cool. I do like the plasma cutters, but because you get stuck on them so easily... And they don't really help out all that much. Can I back up still? No. Not really. So we are going to have to get something a little bit better than that. Such as... Um, hmm. These might actually work, right? I mean, isn't that what they're designed for? Can I, can I put them on there like that? It doesn't seem like they want to go on. How's that? And if I can get it over there... Come on, come on. Back it up, back it up. Nope, that, that's not going to work. It was. It looks kind of cool, though. I, I really wish it had worked, because I would love to have an entire thing of that. Uh, let's go with the oldie but goldie. Let's see, can we get it in there? Yeah, one shot. One shot, guys. One shot, and it's gone. So I'm going to leave a couple of those. I know I took those down a while back for a reason. And we'll probably run into that reason in just a second when I go down. But for now, for now, we're going to go this way. And I think, did we kill everybody or did they just run? They either ran or we killed them and I wasn't even paying attention. Wow. Okay, well, then we're going to go after the new guys, which are over here. <laughs> I hate going up this hill. I'm, I'm not going up this hill anymore, guys. I do apologize. That is a nightmare scenario for this guy. Look at him. He's just sliding down. No traction whatsoever. Oh, you are such a pig. You are such a pig. Stop eating so much. Oh, man. He just gobbles up every block that I get him. And he's stuck up here, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Ugh. Ugh, yeah. I don't know what to say other than I'm disgusted with this guy. Um, I think I need to redesign him. I was kind of hoping to get that... Uh, that Hawkeye Corporation, because that's the moment we're definitely going to be doing that. But look how close we are, and yet we're so far away. They just don't want to give us those pieces. I think they're just trolling us. I think they're like, no, you got to earn them. You got to earn them even more than normal. What are you stuck on? What are you hovering on? Like, what is touching the ground right now? Almost nothing. Almost nothing is touching the ground. Jeez, you are just a pig. <laughs> That is the name. I think if we save this guy, he is going to be called the pig. The massive, the massive oinker or something along those lines. Because, man, he is, he's just not right. There, there's something that needs to be done with this guy other than to be taking him apart. Although that would work. Taking him apart. Oh, my God. <laughs> that makes it almost worthwhile. Seeing explosions like that because he's so freaking uber almost makes it all all that pain, all that uh, anguish trying to get up a small little hill that any venture bot that you have would be able to just fly right over in such a way is absolutely amazing to watch. I mean, I've seen those venture guys get air on like, I don't know, like 10, 15, I think I've even got like 20 feet one time. I had wings on the side, guaranteed uh, to give you that extra little bit of lift, but... With that said, I think the speed was going like 120 or something miles an hour because he had boosters and his wheels, very lightweight bot. Uh, is amazing. I love the Ventures for their speed and their mobility. They can get around anywhere. Now, can they take out the enemy once they get there? Mm, 
sometimes if you, if you build them right and you put the you you really have to pick and choose what blocks are the most important as far as weapons go you can't just throw on any weapon you get you get a whole bunch of megaton cannons you're like ooh, i want to put these on there uh you may have to settle with just doing like three or four because if you put too many it's going to lower your uh, your mobility down it's going to lower your speed down and if you can't take advantage of that with that bot then you really don't have a lot to go for because the other guys are just going to you know outclass you on pretty much everything else they're going to do more damage uh, they're going to have more uh, defense because of the blocks they're using and gso i think gso is pretty much the only one you might be able to get away with but you know if they're done right too they can be pretty nasty to fight i mean they have lots and lots of weapons a lot of the time and it, there's pretty much no place you can stand oh, <laughs> oh wow from a distance they destroyed every block but the cab oh yes i love it again every block but the cab is pretty much annihilated there and then he does he dies a few seconds later we got another one out there point of interest i do need to keep looking what is over there is that a geocore or a gso i don't i want a gso all i need is just a few hundred more points and we should be able to get this oh man come on give me it to me just just a little bit i didn't get to try that steam vent because uh, I think that was my my downfall. It's like I was trying to do more than just get up a hill. Like I actually wanted to go off and explore. And crazy me, like who who even does that, right? Like who, <laughs> who goes off and explores when you're just uh, you know you're trying to wreck face and stuff? But ah oh, man, I hate my computer. If you notice every so often, it like pauses on you. What that is is me pushing the same button and Windows popping up and saying, oh, I'd like to annoy you now. Would you like to have that assigned as a special key because you keep pushing it? And I'm like, no, I, it already is assigned to a special key. It's my boosters. Leave me alone. But <laughs> it takes me out of the game and there's not much I can do about it. Uh, if I was more proficient with Windows and I knew how to tell them to uh, to stick it, uh, I would. But uh, unfortunately, they seem to win more often than not when I'm involved in it. So... <laughs> we got two giant bots over here. At least no one can say we won't have tons of pieces to either sell for money or redo the bot from scratch. Like, this is a lot. This is a lot. Holy crap. Jeez, look at that. All right, we're going to go ahead and snag as much of this as possible. I'm glad this thing doesn't take damage very easily because I have a tendency to drop it from a great, great height. Now, we're going to see if we can come around the side and maybe cause this guy to get a little closer while this thing's doing its thing come on get in there get in there oh yeah you're gonna pick all that stuff up fantastic that's exactly what i was hoping would happen um no no that, that's <laughs> not even close to what i was hoping would happen oh and he's attacking my little guy or he's trying to anyways oh that's right you're dead dude you didn't survive all right let me go ahead and take this off everything should get picked up back it up back it up back it up Come on, you know you want to suck that stuff in. You don't want to suck my bot in, though. Although it kind of looks like I'm stuck on him. Hmm. All right, let's... Uh... Wow, it really does not like being put on that spot, does it? Unbelievable. There we go. You guys not going in? Oh, okay, so I knew what was going on there. That is like I told you guys many times before. If it decides it wants to pick up a block and that block is being you know uh, stopped by something else then uh, it just kind of gets stuck and it doesn't know what to do it doesn't know how to change objects and say oh well you know maybe we should go and try to get this block or, or go down the list and see well there's a couple more blocks next to us let's go down each and every single one of them until one of them actually comes inside it could be that the entrance is just um you know too compact with so many other stuff there it just it holds on to that one and it's like no i ain't doing anything else until this block finds its way in and it doesn't even kind of pulse like it used to do for blocks uh, on your bot itself where when you had resources stuck underneath you it would pull them in and then it would almost repulse them a little bit and then pull them in it would kind of do that pulsing motion back and forth back and forth to see if it could pull those things in through the wheels uh, through different joints get it away from whatever it was stuck on for even a little bit but that caused issues too because uh one one episode i was going out there just uh harvesting resources and I got so many blocks stuck underneath me that it actually lifted me up off of the ground. And I think we flew up for a good 45, 50 seconds before I kind of messed with moving forward or to the side or something like that. And I, I threw off the balance because I was going literally just straight up perfectly, not 
you know, one side tilting a little bit more, and it was once I pushed that arrow key, that's what exactly happened. The uh, one side kind of tilted up a little bit more than the other ones, and then it just lost control all the way, and I fell all the way down and immediately got destroyed from the impact, but it was fun to do. It was something that didn't happen too often. What usually ended up happening was you get so many resources stuck under one side of your bot, and it would just flip you over a couple of times, and like yeah, out of the blue, you would flip over, or it'd be fighting you the whole time. You would, you'd be pushing forward, and some reason you're going back, and you could never quite stay still, and your bot would kind of just flutter as you're sitting there waiting for you know whatever you were trying to do. It was it was kind of a nightmare. It was kind of uh, you know just not something I would like to see back. But at the same time, when you have that that little um, SCU, that's not really going to affect you in that way. I mean, you put the SCU, yeah, most of the time it's close to your bot in some way, but it doesn't have to be. And so I don't really see it causing those issues um, in the way that it kind of caused base bots to have. Because like, you can't put an SCU on a base bot and have it constantly pick stuff up. That would be amazing. That would be just so freaking uber to be able to do that. Now, they do have an item... That is the, what is it, the Magnetron or something like that. It's a big round, almost um, satellite futuristic dish kind of thing that you can put on there. What are these over here? Venture Hailfire Rifles. Well, you guys, you know me by now. I cannot pass up a Venture Hailfire Rifle for anything, even if it's just one of them there. And there's uh, there's two of them there, so we're going to definitely snag that. All right, so we got some stuff out there in the distance that does look like geocore not gso not really getting gso out here i may have to try to aim for a different biome and see if that works that might be one of the main reasons we're not finding those those guys now you will find all different corporations in all the biomes but you're gonna find more in certain ones than you will in others. Obviously, the mountainous regions, you're gonna find Geocore. Out here in the desert regions, you're gonna find a lot of Venture. Out in the grassland, you're gonna find a lot of GSO. So that might be where we need to go. And Salt Flats is supposed to be for the new corporation, the Hawkeye. So we're gonna be spending some time out there. If I can even find a uh, Salt Flat. I haven't seen a Salt Flat in my playthrough on this, uh, this game yet, and we've been exploring quite a bit. So that's, uh, that's not the greatest sign for me, the fact that we haven't seen one. But it should give us a few pieces to start with, and as long as I can have those pieces to play around with, I think we might be able to make a uh, some kind of flying bot helicopter or something and go off, explore, and see if we can find a better space. Even if that means landing and building a bot and then you know taking it back up uh, as we do that. It's going to be a little slower, but I, I'm okay with that because... Getting around with this guy, not even remotely possible, I don't think. Come on, this guy's still alive after all those hits? Jeez, that guy is tough. All right, let's back this thing up. Now, our Geocore is maxed out. Ooh, I think that is a Venture. No, that is a GSO. Oh, those are the goes we're looking for. Come on, come on, come on, Cletus. You could do it. You could do it. I have faith. No, I really don't have faith in this guy. He is, he's a beast. He's hes just uh, too overcomely for for what's good for him come on oh he heard me he, his feelings have gotten hurt he's like nope i'm just not gonna help you out anymore man you just keep insulting me i do all this stuff for you i destroy all these enemies and all you can sit there is in criticism now man <laughs> I used to uh I used to do that for the very first car i owned it was so glitchy so glitchy i cannot even tell you the radio on that car i guess a loose wire or something like that you turn it on Sometimes it would turn on, sometimes it wouldn't. And so there would be trips where you're literally turning the knob on and on, on and off, on and off, on and off, the whole way to work. And always, always would always would do it. It's not even like 90% of the time or you know 95% of the time. No, it was like 100% of the time that it would turn on the last like five minutes before I got to work. And it's just, it was, it was horrible. I hated that thing. But kid you not, if you talk nice to it, it seemed to turn on pretty quickly for you, like within the first two minutes of the car, uh, you know, switching over. Weird as as no could be, but you know, it, it worked, and if that's what it takes to get my car to work, I mean, that was way back when I was a teenager. It was the first car I ever, I ever owned. Since then, I've, I've owned cars that don't need to be sweet-talked into, uh, into operating the way they're supposed to, but you know, it, it kind of is one of those things that have, uh, that have lingered over Oof, look at this guy. Trent RT. 
He definitely had some stuff on him, man. That guy is tough. What did he have? Anything that's left uh, of value? A eh, little bit. But more importantly, are we getting experience for these kills? I hope we are. Come on, destroy them. Why do they always charge? These guys got some guts, man. I gotta admit, Geocorp, they don't charge. Venture, very rarely do they charge. But GSO, man, GSO, they're like, I don't care how big you are. I'm taking you on, man. I'm gonna destroy you. Uh, 19, uh, that's, you know, that's, that's exactly the same amount of experience I had before I came over here. So we're gonna have to go over there and see what we can find. Point of interest. Well, it is a GSO, so... Uh, at least halfway done on that one. Mm, boosters. Yeah, yeah, we're going to take those boosters. And I'm going to start putting some back here in the bag. Not that it really matters. I mean, you put those anywhere you want, it's going to cause the same amount of thrust uh, pretty much. I mean, the, the bigger your bot is, the more thrust you're going to need. But that's the only variable that I've ever seen. It's just, you put them on there. And, of course, if you do put them in, like, in a corner, then it's going to push that corner a little bit more but it's it's really not that big of a deal let's go ahead and take this thing off I almost hate having it on because it never really does anything for me except pick up junk that I don't really want and you're gonna go ahead and pick all that stuff back up aren't you yes you are because you're, you're just you're delicious I love you guys come on come on get in there oh, okay nice the the recycler got it now this design right here on the side would work so much better if there were recipes or this recycler was able to recycle everything it got its hands on. But the thing that actually ends up happening is it picks stuff up that just do, does not want to be recycled. It just doesn't have a recipe for it. It's uh, it's not in the game yet, whatever the case is. And it just kind of get bogged down with all that junk. And that causes a fair bit of lag as well as all the stuff that's in here that's going down the list. And you can see, look at all this thing right here. Uh, none of these are being sold though, are they? What? What happened? Why? Why are my things missing? Did these get destroyed? I think they might have got destroyed, guys. Wow, I did not even notice that. Yeah, they definitely got destroyed. So they've just been going around in a circle this entire time waiting. Well, we can make some money off of this. I'll definitely take some money. Now, the good thing about that is most of those items have been refined into their higher versions because they have been on there for so long. Yeah, look at that. There's some good money in there. Jeez. Okay, well, we're going to need it. So, yeah, this is definitely the time to do it. Oh, yes. Please level me. I don't really need all that much. And you're pretty big. You're pretty beefy, man. You know you want to level me up. Well, I had to kill you first, but that should not be a problem. Unless I run out of shields, which is definitely a thing. It could happen. We've been playing for a little while, and we haven't stopped to, uh, to recharge up yet. 14... 950. Oh, man. Still haven't gotten any experience for killing any of these guys. I don't really like that. Come on. Come on. We're just going to charge them. We're going to run them over? Apparently? Because, you know, that's that's the way to do it, man. I am crushing you from now. We're actually doing more damage, I think, to my bot than we are to his, but... <laughs> When do you ever really get to see somebody crush another bot? I mean, just just the pleasure of knowing that I ran you over. And, you know, you, you got to be a little bit demoralized by that. You know, when a bot is that big, he can just do what he wants with you. And there's not a whole lot you can do about it. But that's what he went through. You know, he's, he's getting over that right now. He's like, no, no, this guy's just, he's too tough for me. Come on, get in there. Where are you going? You scared? He's scared, guys. He's running. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. Oh, okay. Well, he trolled me a little bit. Look at that. He brought me in. He's like, I'm not scared of you. Well, you should be now. <laughs> there we go. I still didn't get any experience on that one. What is the matter? Oh, okay, so we got another dude. Let's back this up. We got another two. Uh-huh. Better get some experience off of you two. Come on. Back it up, back it up, get my weapons in the front. Oh, look at all those uh, those green explosions. Remember, each one of the explosions, depending on the item it's blowing up, will have a different color. Ooh, wow, look at this. This is gonna be a big payday, if it gives me experience. It's three right here. We only had, uh, we only had one when we first came over here. We destroyed that guy. Come on, Explorer. Just, just, just let my Megaton Cannons do their work. Oh, cat. 
cat. You, you, you knew that was crazy. You knew that was crazy. You just threw away your life. Why would you attack somebody as big as me? You got some... You got some guts. These guys... These guys are a lot more brave than I would be in this situation. I would not go against a dude like this. I would not be going anywhere near that, but I would love to do it. I would love to try because of the, the rewards you would get off of that. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Congratulations. GSO has upgraded your license to grade four. The following blocks can now be purchased at the trading station. So we get a four block. We get the armor cab piece. We get a armored corner piece, which is kind of cool to make uh, items. I, I made a Millennium Falcon with those kind of pieces as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. And it came out pretty cool. Uh, I don't see the Hawkeye, but... But I will give it some time. I don't know if we have to do a quest in order for that to pop up. We are near the salt flats at the moment, so that is a good sign. And there's stuff over there. Yes, please be Hawkeye, please. Uh, I don't think it is, but uh, I'm hoping. Because <laughs> if it's not, I don't know what to say. This is the technical ver- Ooh. What's going on here? We detect an unidentified heat signature near your location. Check it out, but proceed- with caution bird of prey are you kidding me are you kidding me bird of prey huh let's take a look at the pieces it's given me okay so those are the pieces i just got access to i don't really need those wow look how big those guys over there we definitely come over there and snag them in a minute but we are maxed on the uh the geo core right now why does this one say gso experience it's a geo core three hmm Oh, look at it. It's purple. I don't think I've ever seen purple. Invaders is red. Uh, I don't think there's any other ones but invaders, right? Just red. So this is the Hawkeye, I guess. Purple, huh? Never would have guessed that would be their color. We're going to move in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, uh, let's stop for a second. Let's look at the battery power, which I think is, oh, yeah. Yeah, very, very low. So we're going to stop here for a second, guys. I think what I'm going to do is charge my batteries up and uh, we'll end the episode here. I know you guys are like, no, you just got there. I'm not doing this on purpose. I guarantee you if it wasn't already a close to a 40-minute video and we didn't have to um, you know, charge up our batteries, we would be going into that. I don't like leaving people on a cliffhanger, so you guys have to wait a whole other day to see this. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to uh, drag this out to an hour-long video. I do like to keep it around 30 minutes to about 40 minutes if i can uh, if you guys want to see longer videos than that definitely leave comments i'd be happy to show you guys uh, hour long ones if that's what you want but i know a lot of people uh, they they kind of like the shorter ones for the most part so that's what i've been uh, trying to give you guys as always i want to thank you all for watching if you do enjoy these videos uh, definitely leave those comments down below i love hearing back from you on what you guys want to see in the future and what you guys enjoy off of these videos as well as any tips and tricks if you guys know of things coming down the pipeline that i haven't heard about uh, let me know and I will definitely pass those along to everybody else who's watching and let them know that they need to go on there and uh, get prepared for a new corporation or whatever the case may be. Definitely some really cool stuff coming out. As always, I'm AC Gamer and I will definitely catch you all next time. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.